All right, hi, hey everybody, this is Scott Teague with you, and I uh, wanted to show you another diorama that I did. Uh, this is out of my comfort zone. Uh, as most of y'all know, I do the mountainous, you know, railroad terrain with Norfolk Southern between Bluefield and Williamson. I wanted to try something different and do uh, a diorama out in the Midwest, kind of. Uh, as you see, uh, fields of uh, wheat or hay. On both sides, you got a dirt road here, a uh, little back dirt road going over the tracks, all flat land. As you see, there's a. I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit uh, different things that I've done here. Uh, the dirt road is uh, dirt sifted from outside here. Uh, what I did to get it real, real fine is I took uh, the dirt, put it in a cup, put pantyhose over the end of the cup and sifted it out. Gives you a real, real, real fine uh, pigments of dirt. Really looks good in end scale. Uh, the culverts here that you see on each side of the tracks, they're made from tin full. And I took a, a little bolt, a uh, threaded bolt, and wrapped the tin full around it probably about two or three times. And then took my fingers and dented in the the screws uh the bolts uh imperfections in the in the temple made the perfections in it and then screwed the the bolt out real carefully and came up with the culverts uh really uh, works good as you see here this is all seven millimeter static grass that i did for uh hay or weed or whatever but uh, did it on this side and did it on this side turned out really good and in the back back here I got six millimeter uh, seven millimeter uh, static grass uh, six millimeter the yellow over there is hay I think it's six millimeter static grass but just did some individual clumps of, you know, grass, different lengths. The track is all done with, I think it's this Atlas track with uh, real sifted uh, gravel dust, granite gravel dust. Um, as you see here, the signs and stuff, got a tractor sign there, farm equipment. I don't know if you can see the, the fence post here, made out of little pieces of wood and then I've had uh, it's, it's kind of like a little bitty um, little bitty wire that I found that I think I wired my signals on my layout and used the wire for uh, bob wire and stuff like that on the, uh, the fence I don't know if you can see it or not let me get it over here where you can halfway see it but it's real fine you, you, I mean the detail it was real tedious to do but I wanted everything you know in perspective but the road turned out good everything turned out good I can't wait to uh, get it outside and take some pictures of it now I'll probably take some pictures of uh, BNSF UP train stuff like that grain train stuff like that on this one because it's out in the Midwest. I may put an NS engine in the consist, but mainly BNSF, UP, stuff like that. But uh, the only thing about this one is, compared to the other one that I've done, it doesn't have a background like mountains standing up. So you got to get to a place where your perspective is of your background. So get in perspective of, of your module. So I've got to do that. I got to find a good place, you know, so it all turn out right. Uh, but I think it turned out good. Uh, we're just going to do the uh, the fields here, just bare dirt. And I, I made made this tool here, as you can see here, it's got jagged edges on it. And I was going to make the individual lines in the in the dirt and did that and then decided 
after I've done it and dried, did the uh, static grass on top of it. So you can still see the burrows in, in the dirt uh, under the static grass. So that, that's cool. Um, but just wanted to show you what I've done. Uh, like I said, it's out of my comfort zone. And uh, can't wait to take some pictures. And that's what I've been doing. And uh, I'll get some more projects going and let you see them. But till then, happy modeling.